Hey, Andre, so um, what does the color orange signify on a Ford truck? You know what? It signifies fun, strength, and affordability. No, <laughs> I think that's what Ford wants you to say, so thank you, Andre. That okay. was a good Ford commercial, but no, I think it means that there's a new tremor in the world. It is. That's exactly what it means. So this is a world debut of the 2023 Ford Maverick Tremor. So the Tremor family is growing. Yeah, do we have the other Tremors in the family? I was Could afraid you were going to ask me that. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. here so, it is. So the first Tremor, I believe, was uh, that one, right? The Super Duty. Yep, exactly. So remember, you went on an original unveiling of this. Uh, it had a lift, it had bigger tires, it, had, it now has a winch. Yeah, and we actually reviewed one. I got to take it to Moab, and I was actually impressed. You know, it's, it's a nice, uh, affordable way to make a truck off-road worthy and the beauty of a tremor package i think in ford's lineup is that it would cost you more to buy all the individual parts yeah. than it would to actually get it from the manufacturer and also they crash tested with the winch and it's all certified it's got 35s but we're not talking about that are we talking about this one no how about how about the ranger tremor <laughs> so huh? i think next <laughs> uh, came the ranger tremor similar kind of uh formula right they gave it a small lift bigger tires but they didn't make it any wider it's not a raptor right so the tremor really in, the, in their lineup it's not the ultimate raptor truck uh, and it's better than FX4, right? It's somewhere in the middle. All right, so let's get to the meat of the story here, and that is Ford has just announced that there's a new Tremor in town. Yes. And this is the Maverick Tremor. So uh, what about the nitty-gritty? What do you get when you go for a Tremor Maverick? Yes, so I want to start with this, Roman, mm -hmm. because I, I had a chance to drive a Maverick FX4 package, yes. which is basically an off-road version of the mini truck. This is a compact truck in the Ford's lineup. And it was pretty good. It had one problem, one major problem. No skid plates? Uh, it kind of had a skid plate. Not ground, ground clearance? Ground clearance. Okay. ground clearance was a huge problem. So Ford is trying to address this. They gave it a one inch lift. Oh, that's good. Uh, is that uh, enough? Yeah, you know, for a <laughs> compact truck, it's enough. <laughs> so if, if it were, you know, a bigger truck, I'd say no, but one inch is good. So yeah, so total ground clearance is now 9.4 inches. So if you think about other kind of light off-roaders, right? Uh, what comes to mind is like, for example, the Outback, the Subaru, right? That has 8.7 inches of ground clearance. This has 9.4. So this is uh, more than a lot of crossovers. Uh, and um, they gave it a new all-wheel drive system, uh, really sophisticated. Really? Okay. And how about tires? Uh, they kind of kept basically the same FX4 tire, which is already a pretty meaty one. Um, but they gave it a unique wheel. So let me show you the wheels. Ooh, a lot of, uh, we'll talk about trim later. Uh, um, you can kind of see, see the wheel in this picture. They gave it a unique design and also a highlight. Does that orange color um, also go into the interior of the truck? Mm, totally. Let's see the interior. Uh, so yeah, so, uh, oh, oh, by, by the, the way. By the way, what motorcycle is that? I was uh, looking at these pictures. I have no clue. You know, we have a bike channel. And by the way, guys, uh, if you're looking for a really cool bike, yes. uh, head on over to TFL Bids. Uh, Case and his crew basically took a 1970 Honda Trail 70 and completely stripped it down, put it back together, and uh, they're doing it as a charity auction uh, for Ride or Down. Uh, so yeah. go and check out TFL Bids if you want a cooler bike than that to put in the back of your Tremor. So what motorcycle is that? Let me know in the comments because I have no clue. And I'm not a big uh, motorcycle guy either, and I was looking at this. It's not electric. No. Um, it has a car carburetor, right? Yeah. All right, so let's so, keep going. Okay, so you asked about the interior. Yeah. So let, let's take a quick look. Uh, let's see what they did to the interior. Uh, let's so right see. now we've got a lift, uh, different wheels, uh, and stickers. <laughs> right? <laughs> an all-wheel drive system. And, 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 and an updated all-wheel drive system. Okay. All right. There we there, go. There we go. Okay. We keep moving. Yeah, oh, we'll now, you know, this is how you find the, uh, oh, the that's, valve. That's smart. That's a, that's, I'm serious. That's a pretty thoughtful thing. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, the question is, when you replace the tire, will they do the same thing? Yeah, that's a good question. It's, it's a wild peak. Oh, they'll have to because there's a hole there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Duh. <laughs> uh, so it's a wild peak, um, 235, 65, 17. So they kept a 17-inch wheel. Uh, package and There's added sticker. some stickers yeah. um, and uh, we'll talk about pricing at the end of this video and also availability because a lot of uh, viewers are probably saying oh that's great guys but we can never buy it yeah the 2022 is already sold out yeah, yeah. but we'll mention uh, more information oh, about this. Hook, look at that. oh yes and dude um, before we get to the interior uh, they gave it a really good approach angle 30.7 degrees of approach they painted the tow hooks Tommy would be really happy about this 
Uh, they added a couple of uh, skid plates. Uh, the departure and breakover angle was still eh. Mm. Uh, the data is, uh, the breakover angle is 19.9 .9 and the departure is 22.2, which is, it's okay, it's not, it's not the best. So by you saying it's a better all-wheel drive system, I take it you can't get a two-wheel drive. No, okay. and it's only available with a two-liter turbocharged EcoBoost engine, uh, only all-wheel drive, but they gave it the clutch-based rear locking differential, basically, so it's not like a, a selectable, well, it is a selectable locker, but it's using clutches. Um, so you could overheat those uh, potentially. Yep. Um, but it's also available, those clutches are available on the Bronco Sport. Uh, right, there oh, there go. it is. Oh, so yeah, they did bring the orange uh, accents into the interior of the truck. Look it's at that. subtle, it's stitching. We'll, we'll show some more right here. So tremor and the stitching. And there is another... Oh, there it is, the rear locker, yeah. Yeah, rear locker, uh, kind of for, uh, front to back split, right? Um, and also, all the off-road modes... All the drive modes are still available, including sand and mud. What's this burping snail? <laughs> That's not a burping snail. <laughs> what is that button? It's traction control. Okay. I think it's, a, it's supposed to be a tire that's... Isn't it supposed to be a tire that's spitting dirt? Yeah, or a burping snail. Uh, okay. Uh, we also have um, hill descent control, but now also trail control. You know that off-road, uh, basically cruise control. Okay. Yes. And how about this, don't go there? Don't go there. It's a uh, uh, auto hold. Okay. So when you let off the brake, it'll hold you on the hill. Gotcha. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they're showing some mud and ruts mode as well. Um, so all those driving modes are available, including towing, including slippery, and normal. Are you going to ask me about towing? Andre, what about towing? Oh, so look. So uh, this, this lady um, brought her, they yeah. brought their ATV. These guys look like they just had a massive argument. I mean, she's got Ooh. that look. Don't, don't even dare talk to me look in her face. You know, like when you get in an argument with your wife or yeah. girlfriend and she yeah. stares out the window and you're yeah. like, oh, this is not going to be a comfortable ride. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that happened. But um, so 2,000 pounds of towing. So it's not a lot. No. Uh, you know, they also have the uh, 4K towing package on the regular Maverick. So this model does not get it. But you can kind of see the lift, right? You can kind of see the taller appearance. Dare I say they're maxing it out with that. <laughs> They probably are. Yeah. So this machine, what, would weigh like 700 pounds? Yeah, 700 pounds. In a trailer. Yeah. So they're probably maxing this thing out. Yeah, exactly. I so like it. I like, the, I like the orange there, too, how it kind of ties into the uh, turn signals. It's, yeah, yeah. it's all really good. I like the color, too, that kind of almost Easter egg uh, light blue. Well, it's it's kind of cool. It's kind of trendy now, right? Yeah. These kind of uh, uh, concrete or pastel, uh, pastel yeah, colors. Yeah, exactly. They're pretty cool. Yeah. So you're probably wondering about pricing. I am. How much does this bad boy set you back? $2,995. It's a package. So you can order a Maverick. You could check a box. You know, it so has $3, to be... $3,000. Basically $3,000. Yeah. Yeah. So it has to be an XLT or Lariat. Yeah. You cannot get it in a, X, an XL work track, so, unfortunately. So how much would that actually be if you added it to if the cost you, of if, a, like, a, like a Lariat? It's probably like in the forty, low $40,000 range. It's so not it's, cheap. Yeah. So it's actually entering... Like a Lariat, Tremor, it's actually almost entering like the Ranger territory, really. Well, certainly, yeah. You're, yeah, you're, you're yeah, at a Ranger price for sure. Yeah, de definitely in the Ranger territory. And speaking of other trucks, uh, there's only really one other truck that competes with this, right? And we actually have it for a long-term uh, review, and that is, of course, the Santa Cruz. Um, and the Santa Cruz at this point uh, offers basically two engine choices, but no uh, hybrid, even though it's, um, you know, they have one available. They will have one available. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and really, uh, the other thing that the Santa Cruz has with the bigger engine is a dual clutch, which we have found does not work great off-road. So I'm talking to you there, Hyundai. If, if you're you know, looking at the competition, slap that uh, hybrid into the Santa Cruz and maybe give it a lift and some bigger tires, and uh, you'll be uh, right there with Ford. And I think um, in the truck world, uh, there's so much competition that, that they don't leave a segment uncompeted for. And since Hyundai is new to the truck world, maybe this might be a good way for them to understand how people cross shop things. Yeah, and they said uh, the order banks uh, for 2023 Mavericks open in September. Okay. And they're going to start building them this fall. So technically, gosh, by the end of this calendar year, maybe early next year, you'll be able to get new models of Mavericks. So uh, obviously the question you guys might be wondering is if there's a Tremor, will there be a Raptor? We don't know. Well, uh, there's a lot of other news, right? People are, uh, there are rumors flying about a plug-in hybrid, a uh, hybrid all-wheel drive Maverick. An EV one? EV one. Yeah. Uh, there's rumors about the Raptor. We don't know anything 
of sorts. Uh, we all we know is now is the tremor is going to be available, and we do know that there will be a Ranger Raptor. And more good news, Roman. Yes. Uh, they're also opening order banks on other popular vehicles, like the F-150, the Transit, the Explorer. So next model year is in full swing, 2023. All that is coming. Well, thank you, guys. Remember, check out alltfl.com if you want to stay on top of all the latest news because Andre is busy writing up stories. The new Lightning Police truck. truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. haven't even talked about that. So all that is at alltfl.com. Thank you for watching. See you next time.